Good day everyone. This is Teacher Judea. For today, we will discuss about discovering the conflict presented in literary selections and the need to resolve those conflicts in non-violent ways. In literature, conflict is a struggle or problem faced by the main character. It happens because of different views, intentions, or interests between individuals. A conflict can make it difficult to form a positive and healthy relationship. So, you probably encounter the term as part of a flat and fatal experiment, which consists of exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and the resolution or the memo. In fiction, conflict creates the tensions and drives the story forward. This often introduces in the rising action. Then, the main character is confronted with a conflict that leads to the climax. The conflict is handled in the following action, and finally, the story needs to be Conflicts have two categories, the internal and external. Let's have the external conflict. It refers to the opposition between an individual and some outside force. For example, person versus person. So it could be a hero versus villain. In the story, my father goes to court to which man had a complaint against the narrator's family of stealing the spirit of essence of their food. Another one is person versus society. In the story, the wedding dance, a wheel and Luna is separated because they must follow their tribe's custom. Next is person versus nature. It could be a weather, animal encounter, or a natural disaster. For example, in the movie 2012. Next is person versus technology. So it could be a conflict in computer or machine. For example, in the movie Lucy. Then the last one is person versus supernatural. To be ghost, gods, aliens, or monsters. For example, in the new series of um, the Netflix, the story 13. Next is internal conflict. It refers to the opposition coming from within. This is also known as character versus self which involves moral and values. It requires a person's decision when challenged by conscience and needs to choose between right and wrong. This type of conflict is demonstrated in, for example, when the student is torn between watching a favorite Korean drama or complaining her module. Another term is the team. It is the lesson or the author's message. It is to think about the way human beings live as presented in the story. It also has a universal view of life which the reader can accept, challenge, or question. The theme of my father goes to course provided an example. Um, the happiest people are those who are content for their lives regardless of their status in life. So how to solve conflicts? In this lesson, we will examine how to so can't it's a non-violent way. Whether it is your parents or sibling, you can do the following to stop a conflict from getting worse. Step 1. Cool off. First, you need to calm down. Deep breaths can be a good start. Step 2. Share, listen, and check. Second is to listen to each other when discussing about the issue or problem. Step 3. Take responsibility. You need to take responsibility for your actions. Consider what you have done differently if you could go back in time. Step 4. Brainstorm solutions. Think of the solutions that are acceptable for both or everyone. Step 5. Choose the solution together which you think will be the most effective. And lastly, step 6. Affirm, forgive, or thank. Accept when you realize you are wrong, forgive if you receive an apology, or thank the person for solving the problem with you. 
Now that you have recognized the conflict as an inevitable part of life, as a reader, you will be able to deepen your connection with the meaning of a story or character and discover possible solutions to deal with conflict. Now, let's try! Identify the conflict shown in each illustration, if it is internal or external. Okay, number one is internal. Number two, external. Three, external. Four, internal. And number five, external. Now, for the next task, we're going to do the following. And because conflict can also be stopped, it's through the character's dialogue. Read each dialogue or passage and determine the type of conflict faced by the character. Choose from the list below and comment down your answer. It's A for person versus person. B, person versus nature. C, person versus society. D, person versus technology. E, person versus supernatural. And F, person versus self. Okay, for number one, it is letter F. For number two, it is letter B. For number three, it is letter A. For number four, it is letter C. For number five, it is letter E. And for number 6, it is letter D. Okay, remember, peace is not the absence of conflict. It is the ability to handle conflict in peaceful peace. By Ronald Reagan. I hope you learned something for today. Again, this is Teacher Judaya.